Yes, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is one. Thank you once again for tuning in. Before we get into the video, make sure you do two things like you guys always do. Go down, drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you have subscribed. We are going to be talking about Ange Postacoglu because there's a lot of fans coming out, a lot of rival fans saying, oh yeah, you've only, you've only won against, you know, promoted teams, um, this and that. But Ange Postacoglu has been here two months, well, nearly three months. And we're already seeing some cultural changes that we've wanted from as Spurs fans for years and years and years, right? We wanted to see these changes. The belief in the squad right now is the best I've seen for years and years and years, right? Everyone said we wouldn't score goals. We've scored the third highest amount of goals. Only Brighton and Manchester City have scored more. Everyone said, oh, you're going to get relegated about Harry Kane. We're sitting second in the league, our best start for 56 years. Ange Postacoglu has broken the manager of the month curse, right? And Sheffield United wasted so much time in that game, and that added on extra time was their downfall, and they lost that game. There is belief, the, the, the morale in the, in, the, in the squad, the health of the squad, touch what we haven't had, we haven't had any injuries yet. And I, I, I just wanted to come in here to say that th this manager is the real deal. Ange Postacoglu is the real deal. We've got two big, big, big games coming up. We've got Arsenal away and Liverpool at home. And I'm going to say it right now. I think we will beat Liverpool. And I think we go to Arsenal and get a draw. And I would bite your hand off for four points in our next two games. It never normally goes right for us at the Emirates. We haven't won there since 2011, 2010. Union score ball, 3-2 winner after being 2-0 two, two down. And Liverpool, you know, they're, they're only... I can't remember the last time we beat Liverpool. You know, the Champions League final, horrendous memories. The last game uh, Conte played there, we drew 1-0 and they got a deflected goal. And we was 1-0 up and probably played really well and was probably the better team on the day. But Ange Postacoglu right now, for me, is changing the culture, you know. He's everything we need and more. He come out um, yesterday and said, let the fans have belief. You know, everyone's singing the Robbie Williams song. I'm loving Big Ange instead. And, you know, the transfer window, in my personal opinion, I don't feel like we, give, we gave Postacoglu the best tools to do the job. I still think we need a centre-back. I still think we need a number nine. And I still think we need a DM. But in January, hypothetically, let's say we go and get that centre-back. Let's say we go and get a striker. Let's say we go and get a DM. We have got one game a week, one game a week between now and January. We have got 15 games left between now and the January transfer window. Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City and Man United, if they all get, even West Ham and Brighton, if they all get past the third round of the League Cup, they are going to have 24, 25, maybe even 26 games between now and January. We have got the least amount of games in all the top sides in the Premier League. There is no reason right now we can't go and get top four. I am backing this manager and this team 100%. Obviously, providing we don't get any injuries, I think we can have a fantastic season. I really do. Like I, I am well a, a part of this project and we're well a part of this um i don't want to say process because it's not a process but I'm, I'm, I'm a part of this journey you know we, we beat manchester united at home we've beaten sheffield united at home we've beaten bournemouth away burnley away and let's be honest we probably should have beaten brentford away you know if the, you could say that that some penalty was harsh how madison didn't get a penalty yesterday was absolutely mind-blowing the inconsistencies in the Premier League, the inconsistent, constant decisions, how one week is a penalty, the next week is not, is, is, a, is a disgrace. That's a, I'll do a video on that another day. But right now, I genuinely think for the first time in a long, long, long time, we are on the cusp of building, laying the foundations. We've got a play style. We've got an identity. We've had eight different goal scorers. Romero, Emerson Royale, Kulisevsky, Madison, Son, Richarlison, um, and there was one other, and I cannot remember off the top of my head who it was. Um, 
But yeah, we, we are we're performing. Even the likes of like the substitutions yesterday, bold, taking off Humin Son, bringing on Richarlison. Richarlison, by the way, Richarlison, by the way, fair play. I have given him so much stick, so much stick. And do you know what he delivered? He come on, he got an assist. You know, he 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 got his goal. Perisic as well, you know, every, everyone's contributing. Every single person in this squad is contributing. Fort Vicario made two or three good saves yesterday. One stop off the top of my head stands out. You know, their goal, could he have done better? I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing finish, their goal, by the way. But, you know, under Conte, we had so, there was a massive divide in the fan base about who's Conte in, who's Conte out. And automatically, if you defended either side of that, it would come back at Levy. Right now... For the first time since Pochettino, the fan base is slowly but surely coming together and uniting. We've got one game a week, guys. One game a week. If we can get through to January, touch wood, unscathed, we have had a, a proper, proper result. The test will come in December. We've got three games. We've got two games left this month. We've got three games next month. We've got three games in October. Um, sorry, October and November. Come December, we've got seven games. And we've got the likes of Man City. We've got the likes of Brighton. That's when we will be tested. You know, how can we how can these players cope playing, you know, two or three two or three times in ten days? Um but right now, you know, I, I'm I'm I am I am genuinely genuinely I'm not like I'm not gonna say we're in a title race. You know, but at the moment, could we? You know, could we do something special this season? In my personal opinion, we should go guns blazing, flat out for the FA Cup. Go all in for the FA Cup. All of our eggs in that basket. If we can get top four in an FA Cup, that would be the best season we've had in over 30 years. We haven't won an FA Cup in 32 years. We've gone out of the League Cup on the first hurdle. Everyone's forgotten that now. That's fine, you know. But we're still a bit of a hiccup. Now let's put let's let's go again. Let's go to the FA Cup. We haven't got we haven't got another competition until January. We've just got Premier League. Like we've got winner other than Arsenal and Liverpool. After that, we've got Palace, Chelsea at the moment are in absolute turmoil. Right? Wolves, Luton, Fulham. We've got winnable games, guys. Genuinely, I, I think we're gonna do something good this season. I think we can get back into the top four, give Ange the tools, the best possible chance of doing his job to the highest level. Right now, we, we, we had a good, we had a, as an okay window, it wasn't great. We brought through James Madison, he's absolute oozes class. He is unbelievable player. Mickey van der Ven as well. Your doji looks brilliant player. We're slowly but surely laying the foundations and moving into the right direction. I think right now, I'll be honest, I think right now, I think we're going to have a great season, I really do. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, obviously, this is all hypothetically provided we don't get any injuries, which I'm sure we will, um, you know. But it's just the fact that we we're, we're all seem to be united, which is great. Now we just need to leave, we just need to give him more money come January, make smart purchases like Madison, you know, like we did with Udoji and Kulazewski. Kulazewski, by the way, giving him a lot of stick. The finish on his goal yesterday, absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. You know, people are going to come out saying, oh, you're flip-flopping. I, I, I've just been extremely critical on certain players. I've been extremely critical on on um, on, on Richarlison, on Kulazewski, on Romero. You know, and everyone said, you know, we wouldn't score goals, we're scoring goals. Everyone said these players couldn't play an attacking style, they're playing an attacking style. Everyone said, oh, you know, this and that, whatever, that everyone seems to be moving the goalposts to, to suit their narrative and suit their agenda. But right now, we're second in the league, you know, we're above Liverpool, we're above Arsenal, we're above Chelsea, we're above Man United. Only Man City have had a better start to the season than us. And they've won all their games. They're the only team in the league right now have a 100% record. And listen, 
I think we're going to have a fantastic, fantastic season. Let me know down below your thoughts um, on on Postacoglu in the team. Um, what what do you think? Like, what do you think? Genuinely, what do you guys think on on this? Could we, you know, could we do something special? Could we go and win an FA Cup? Could we go and get back into the top four? Could we go and achieve something this season? You know, last season, finishing outside of Europe was absolutely horrendous for us. You know, absolutely horrendous. It really was. Um, but I think I think we're on the cusp of doing something. I think we're going to have a good season. We've got 15 games between now and January. Get through those 15 games. Get into January, right? And let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Listen, big up to every single person who's tuned in. Make sure you have smashed a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. Um, and yeah, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to this season, man. I'm not going to lie. See you all soon. Thank you for watching. I am out.